Kinder, founder of Beauty and Soul. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I thought as I am leaving the house, what seems to be the first time in weeks, I'm actually meeting a friend for brunch. I thought I would do a little get ready with me. Um, I usually put these on my Instagram, but I thought it'd be fun to do one on YouTube. Um, recently, I was actually sent a few products from a new brand called Tokobo. So I thought we could do a little bit of a first impressions and then quickly do my basic makeup. I really don't put on that much makeup. And yeah, see what we think of this brand, Tokobo. So first of all, I've just washed my face with um, the Purito from Green Deep Foaming Cleanser. This is a really good one for those of you with sensitive skin. Um, it's pH balanced, so it's a pH of 5.5, which matches the pH of your skin, so it's not gonna leave your skin feeling dry or stripped of moisture. My skin's super dry, especially during these winter months, so I like using a super mild uh, exfoliator. This one is also fragrance-free for those that are looking for a more gentle cleanser, um, and it's all using plant-based surfactants. So yeah, vegan-friendly as well. So this is a really great all-round um, cleanser. Because it's foamy as well, I know some people that if you go for a pH-balanced cleanser, a lot of them lose that kind of foaminess, and a lot of people like that. So if you're one of those people that likes a foaming cleanser but still want it to be pH-friendly, then this is a really good option. So I'm gonna go straight in with the toner uh, because my skin is feeling a little bit dry post-cleansing, but this is the Tokobo AHA BHA Lemon Toner. So this is a mildly exfoliating toner. It's got a little lemon on the top as well, which is pretty cute. Um, so it contains 38% lemon extract, AHA and BHA. So there's glycolic acid in this. Um, I will say that this one does contain essential oils. So for those of you that are sensitive to essential oils, or those of you who have super sensitive skin, um, maybe not be the toner for you, but oh, it's a lot thicker than what I was expecting. I, I don't know, in my head I just thought it would be really um, like watery. Actually, I probably don't need a cotton pad for that. Um, it does smell of lemon, which I'm not one of those people that is terribly sensitive to fragrance in skincare. I know, controversial, because a lot of people opt for fragrance-free skincare. I actually don't mind it. I think at times it can actually enhance um, the kind of sensorial properties of using skincare. Um, I just don't like anything that's overpowering, like flowery or kind of smells like talcum powder, but this one's really fresh. Actually, the fragrance doesn't um, linger at all. Um, but it's it's kind of nice to see an exfoliating toner with AHA and BHA that is not watery because I have really dry skin and that's why I usually opt for a more viscous toner, so one that is slightly more thicker in consistency. Um, but the addition of lemon supposedly helps to brighten um, complexion as well, which obviously during winter months skin can be looking a little bit dull. So yeah, first impressions is I surprisingly really like this. I did not expect that consistency. The initial smell of the lemon actually doesn't sit on my skin. I actually think this is going to be a really nice one for spring, so that kind of transitional season when you're looking for something a little bit more fresh but still hydrating. Um, so yeah, first impressions of that one is quite good. Okay, so the next product is also from the brand Tokobo. This is their Bifida Biome Essence. Loving the sound of that. Um, so I guess this one, the purpose of it is to kind of help strengthen that skin barrier. It looks to be quite thick, almost like a serum, not kind of um, like a first treatment essence. I would probably use this kind of like a thicker essence slash serum. Um, but obviously the main ingredients that they, in this one is fermented ingredients. So Lactococcus, Lactobacillus, um, Bifida ferment lysate as well. So these are really, fermented ingredients are really good. Um, they're usually known for their anti-aging properties, but the idea is that they penetrate um, deeper into the cells because the fermentation process helps break down um, the active ingredients more. So as you can see, it is quite thick. So I'm happy to kind of use this as sort of a serum replacement. Um, I can't really, smell any fragrance but I did look on the ingredients and fragrance is added although uh, I think it's like one of the last ingredients in there so the percentage of added fragrance will be quite small I personally can't really detect any strong fragrance um, 
But yeah, it's in um, quite a steady glass bottle as well. And I feel like one or two pumps is probably all you need. It is quite nourishing and actually does layer with the um, AHA BHA lemon toner quite nicely. But yeah, the whole kind of line I think is designed to really help strengthen your skin barrier. Um, and I love anything with um, fermented extracts in, especially bifida ferment lysate. So yeah, this one contains 45% of bifida ferment lysate as well, which is a really good percentage. So I actually bought up with me my Ionic um, Nonia Oil Serum. As you can see, there's like literally hardly any left in here. It's like down to its last dregs. Um, because I didn't know whether or not this essence would be soothing and hydrating enough. It's quite cold outside. I have really dry skin at the moment. But I actually feel like I don't need that much. Um, my skin is feeling quite nicely plump and hydrated. So yeah, I actually really like this one. I don't know why I feel like I'm surprised by these products, by the way. I think, I don't know, I'm always just naturally a little bit suspicious <laughs> when I receive a new brand and a new product. This by any means is, is not sponsored or anything. I wasn't even asked to do a kind of video or share my experience with them. I was kind of sent them as a little gift. Um, but I love discovering new brands and I just thought I would share my first impressions with you. So yes, first impressions of these two are really positive. But the product from Chocobo that I was most excited to try was their multi ceramide cream. First of all, the packaging is super cute. Um, I really like the sky blue and the sturdiness of the glass jar. So even though I think the lemon on the toner comes across as a little bit cheap, um, this one looks really high quality. And ceramide cream, perfect for this time of year. Really good at nourishing um, my skin and protecting it. First impressions of it, I mean, this looks like a little cupcake. It looks like icing. First impressions is it looks like a very thick cream. So probably those that are looking for an anti-aging cream and more nourishing cream, one that is gonna help lock in moisture. Um, so for those of you like me that have dry skin, this is probably a very good option for you. Um, so yeah, let's give this one a try. I'll first swatch a little bit um, so you can see. But as you can see, it, it well, it's quite thick, but actually it spreads really easily um, and kind of, I can, it does have a slight floral, floral fragrance. So I'll check the ingredients list to see where the fragrance comes in. But actually it, it, it absorbs really nicely. It doesn't feel like thick at all. I was quite surprised at how um, quickly it spread actually. So yeah, let's give this one a try. The fragrance does appear quite high up on this cream just to warn those people. Um, that said, I don't feel like it's that overpowering. Um, I'd say it's probably like two thirds of the way down on the ingredients list. Um, but this one does have a really nice ingredients list. It contains um, hyaluronic acid, obviously different ceramides as the name suggests, but also nourishing ingredients like squalene and also shea butter, which helps basically lock in moisture into your skin. So it's got both occlusives and humectants that basically work together to help um, create water on the surface to your skin to help moisturize, but then also help to lock in the moisture that you do have. So prevent any moisture loss, which is exactly what my dry skin needs. As you can see, I've got a little bit of redness on my cheeks, um, which is from my dry skin at the moment. So it doesn't feel too thick. I think if you've got combination skin, you could probably get away with this, but I definitely would lean towards it more if you have dry skin. If you've got oily skin, I probably wouldn't recommend it. However, if you do have oilier skin, um, this one could be a good choice because it has the added AHA, BHA, um, especially the glycolic acid, which um, will help clean out those stubborn areas within your pores. I like to use BHA usually just around my T-zone um, and it is slightly thicker, so it's still not gonna dry out your skin too much. It still is gonna be quite nice brightening. Okay, so that is my first impression of these two products from Tokobo. So these were the AHA BHA Lemon Toner, followed by the um, Bifida, Oh, Bifida Biome Essence. Um, I thought it was Microbiome Biome Essence. Uh, and then followed by the Multi Ceramide Cream. So first impressions, really like them. For those of you that are sensitive to essential oils, which by the way is actually not going to be that many, but I know people just prefer not to use essential oils in their skincare. It might not be the line for you because there is added fragrance. Um, that said, it is very subtle. And um, for me, the rest of the ingredients 
the formulations seem to sit really nicely. Um, if you have sensitive skin as well, I wouldn't recommend you doing what I do and just kind of putting all of the uh, new products at once. Um, I did swatch these on my hand yesterday before I filmed this just to make sure that it was not going to break me out or irritate my skin barrier. Okay, so last but not least, I'm obviously applying sun cream. Um, I'm not gonna talk about this one too much because I feel like I probably use it on every um, get ready with me or skincare routine <laughs> that I do. This is obviously the Daily Sunscreen by Pluruto. This is a hybrid SPF, so chemical physical protection, and it is factor 50, um, PA quadruple plus. Super nice formulation, sits well under makeup. So yes, that is my skincare done. Okay, so onto makeup. I'm just gonna get my hair a little bit out the way with this clip. Um, I'm going in with my favorite cushion. This is the Troy Adeke Soul Cushion. Um, in the shade 22. Um, as you can see, I've also got a backup. Um, I messaged Triad K and said that I was running low and they were like, we'll send you a backup, um, which was really sweet. They also included honey butter almonds in the package as well, which is one of my favorite snacks from um, Korea. So I, for those of you that don't know, the Triad K cushions, they kind of market them as a kind of skincare first product as opposed to a makeup product. So they always say 99% skincare, 1% makeup. Um, and I just find the formulation to be really nice. It's really light and it just seems to last for me. Um, I do have quite a lot of cushions, but I just always seem to turn back to this one. So I always start with my cushion um, in the middle of my face and then work my way out so the lighting probably doesn't look like this is the right shade for me, but I've literally gone through about four of these cushions. So do trust me that it is my correct shade. Um, I usually do fluctuate between 22 and 23, um, but for this particular line, I felt like um, the shade is a little bit darker than their original um, H plus cushion, which is why I prefer the sole cushion. So yeah, I also just find it does have a brightening effect, not like a whitening effect, but it does make your skin look nice and healthy and bright. It's not a matte, it's not too matte, but then it's not too, I guess, wet looking either. Um, it just gives you that natural glow. And I just like that it has other nourishing ingredients and they kind of market it more as a skincare product, especially when you've got to wear a mask at the moment. It's quite nice that you're not wearing like a thick layer of foundation under it. So yes, that is the Triadic A Soul Cushion. So by the way, don't expect big things from my makeup because I'm really, I, well, first of all, I hardly ever wear makeup. Second of all, I'm just really not that good at applying makeup, but I just thought it'd be fun to do like a full get ready with me with skincare and makeup. So I'm gonna actually use the viewfinder to do my brows, but this is the Glossier um, Boy Brow. I prefer using a, um, like a, a brow cara. Um, my favorite one is the Isson Tree because it has a really small brush and I just find that it really gets into every um, hair, but unfortunately I've run out of that and it actually was in a lighter brown colour because I dyed my hair a lighter shade of brown when I was last in Korea, so um, it is the wrong shade. So I got this one from Glossier, which I have used before and I do really like um, in the kind of black, darker colour. I never really know how to do my brows properly. I'm so bad at this, but you know, as long as it kind of looks a little bit darker and more decent than before, then that's fine. And then I'm gonna go in with my stick blush. I've kind of been liking more liquid blushes, stick blushes as opposed to powder recently. I think as well because I have dry skin, um, I, I think a blush cream looks a little bit more dewy. So also the packaging was in rose gold, so I kind of had to get it. Um, but this is in Peachy Keen. This is stick blush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Let me see it up close. So yeah, just like a nice peachy brown color. Um, and I just think like like this one as well, it comes with a blendable brush, but it's like a little bit more forgiving than a lot of the other liquid blushes that um, I've tried as well. I did try the Glossier Cheek Tint, but it's 
like one shade I blended it out and you could hardly see it and then the other one it was like oh my god I like didn't have enough time to blend it out properly and it just looked a bit silly so I just really like this one because it's um really easily really easy to blend um and it's quite a subtle one as well I also think that this particular color will suit a lot of skin types as well so that is blush done then I'm just going to go in with a little bit of um, eyeshadow. Again, this is from Glossier. This is in the shade Skywash, but it looks kind of like this. And I feel like such a beauty blogger doing this because I've hardly ever shown makeup. Um, I really like this shade. It's a little kind of on the rusty copper orangey vibe, but I only add a little bit to my eyelid and then I will blend out. Um, but it is super subtle, which... I like. Um, ooh, I just dropped my blush. Um, I, I'm not sure if I can do the viewfinder for this. There we go. Um, but I quite like the shade of this one. Like I said, it is just quite subtle. Um, but yeah, that is eyeshadow done. And then I am going to go in with my by Terry Ombre Black Star. I just like putting this on as kind of like an eyeliner. I do find that this stays on quite well, but it has a little bit of shimmer as well, which is quite nice. Um, and then sometimes I'll also bring it back down to my lower lash line. Um, so yeah, I might just do a little bit there. And that's literally my makeup done. <laughs> like I really don't do much makeup. Um, I am gonna put, um, a kind of tinted lip balm on. This is the limited edition glossier one that they came out at Christmas. It's in the shade Cranberry. Um, I do really like glossier lip products. I mean, I do really like glossier makeup, as you can see. Um, but uh, the Ultra Lip in particular is really nice because it is really moisturizing. It's basically like a tinted lip balm. So yeah, that is my makeup. So I can try and zhuzh up my hair a little bit and then I'm just going to put in my earrings just like little hoops these are from and other stories um this shirt by the way is from Zara I got it in the sale I wasn't sure whether these like huge Peter Pan collars would look nice but um I just kind of fancied a little bit of a change <laughs> And then finally, I've got a spritz of my perfume. This is in Sardonyx Fire. This is from And Other Stories. Um, I was looking for kind of a winter scent that didn't cost an arm and a leg, and I just really liked um, the scent of this. It kind of reminded me of the, oh, what is it, Jo Malone, the, the cologne one in the dark bottle. I can't remember the name now, that's really gonna annoy me. Um, but a little bit more spicy, so um, really nice one for winter. And the bottle looks quite cute as well. So yes, that is me ready. And that really didn't take long. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you've got any questions about Tokobo. If you've heard of this brand as well, please do let me know. Um, when I posted it on my personal Instagram, a few people commented saying, oh, I've seen this brand. Um, I've heard really good things. I'm keen to know your thoughts. So I thought it'd be quite a nice first impressions video to share with you on here. Um, yeah, that's about it from me. So I will see you in the next video. I hope everyone is keeping well and staying healthy and keeping safe. I know January can be a bit of a tough month for a lot of people and the weather hasn't really helped. Um, so yeah, please do take care of yourself and I will see you in the next one. Bye.